Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's Tuesday. I have my coffee and my spooky mug. I got this at Marshall's last year and I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Mm. Delicious coffee this morning. Okay, I'm wearing my football shirt because I'm going to work football today, but I don't have to be there for a little while. I don't have to leave here for an hour, so I thought I would do this video for you. Got Alex down here. Sir? Hi, come here. He wants me to pet him. Come here. Hi, sweet boy. You wanna say hello? <laughs> come here. Ooh. He does not wanna say hello. Well, by he doesn't wanna, ooh. Let me fix ya, there we go. He doesn't want me to pick him up. Okay, I got an entire haul of Christmas. I love Christmas. So let's get started because I have a lot. Well, I have everything I've been able to find, which is not everything, obviously. First thing I got are these two magazines. I never really pay attention to these magazines, but I saw these and they're regularly $4.99. So I don't know what the deal is, but I grabbed this one that says Home for the Holidays, 43 Inspired Ways to Make the Season Bright. And I'm wondering if these were like from last year, like a magazine that they sold, but I don't know. I don't know. So I grabbed that one, and then I grabbed this one that says Holiday Sweet Treats, and it's cookie recipes and things of that nature. So I thought that would be fun to look at and get some good ideas. All right, I picked up some of these. I know they're not specifically for Christmas, but I'm doing black and red this year and I thought these would be fantastic to add to some ornaments or decor or something. So I grabbed one red, one black, and then I found these in gold, which these are my favorites. So I just grabbed one of each. I know I have another one of this color. I'm not sure about the others, but we don't need a ton. So I grabbed some of these stickers, which are not specifically for Christmas, but for me, they work for Christmas because of the colors. And things like that, I feel like you have to grab when you see them. Just like these, I found these little boxes. You get four of them. These were in the party section. I want to see if I can put one together. I think these would be fantastic to share treats. So I think this one has two, sorry, gold stripes and two solid gold. We're not gonna completely build them, but we're gonna try to see what size they are. I think they're pretty small, which is good for treats. Like you can make fudge and deliver these. Yeah, this is gonna be perfect because they are so pretty. I think this would be great for a little sweet treat for somebody. I'll just put the top together so you can see. I'm trying not to tear this up. Well, anyway, the box would be like that size, which I think is a perfect size for like fudge or if you're in Ohio and you give away Buckeyes for Christmas time or any time of the year, this would be a perfect little box. So I may end up picking up some more. I kind of avoid, not avoid, but I don't always go down the party aisle. I, I don't know why. I just think of it as parties, but they had all different color stripes and a couple solids, so I grabbed one of each. So this gives me eight little boxes. You can also use them for gifts, anything like that. You don't even have to wrap them, you can just throw a bow on top. But I think these are adorable and definitely something I'm gonna collect and maybe go find some different ones. Cause I love that. Again, not specifically for Christmas, but definitely something I want to utilize. Um, I found a couple of the metal I just grabbed one of this metal sign and it's, you know, it's not overly large. At my store, they had this, the Christmas tree, a snowman and a stocking. 
I just grabbed the ornament because I think this will be fun to do something with for a DIY that we'll have coming up. So I grabbed that for DIY purposes. Also for DIY purposes, I grabbed, I grabbed three of these because I never see, I've never seen these at my, okay. They're a mess guys. I've never seen these at my store, but you get three rings and they're independent of each other. So you can make three different size, um, wreaths or you can connect these together and make a, a big old snowman and I'm kind of thinking that this would be fun for a boho snowman to do like a macrame around each level connect them together with a hat and then maybe get a um, doily for the center of the body and then you could put something on it I'm not sure could be just a smaller one and make it two but I did grab three of these because I've never seen them at my store and in my area things like this tend to go fast so I love it. You could also cut them and put beads on them to make anything that you want. And I know some stores have the beaded garland and then you could spray paint it. But I grabbed three sets because, um, and I will tell you a little, I was naughty in my store, but they had a, a cart and I saw this on the side of the box and I opened the box and I snagged them because I knew I would never see them. And you know what? A couple of days later, I went back to that same store and they were gone. Like they, I couldn't find them anywhere in the store. So they had one box on that little dolly. So I grabbed three. That is just something I can use all seasons. It doesn't have to just be Christmas. Um, I grabbed the Starburst candies. These are duos. So they are double flavors on each. Um, I am making, and I will bring you along. I'm almost got enough candy. I'm filling a gift so I took one of the candy jars from the Dollar Tree and I'm filling them up to make an advent calendar out of one and a gift out of the other I am putting all kinds of candies in there like different candies I can find and then cash for a teenage boy and an advent calendar for my niece and I'm waiting on the tea to arrive for the advent calendar and I will make a video on how I use that candy jar the plastic candy jars so I grab this I just pick up Every once in a while when I see something unique, I grab candy. So that's what that is for. Um, I found some cinnamon sticks. These are great. You can eat these or you can craft with them. And you know, yes, cinnamon's not expensive, but I liked the size of these. And I thought, you know, I'll just grab them because I don't need a ton of, of cinnamon, but I do enjoy crafting with them. Or I even just throw them on like a tiered tray or in a, a small room, like a bathroom, and it makes the room smell good. So I grab one small package of cinnamon sticks and these are Polar brand. And I think they get them every year. Yeah. So I grab that, I'll leave that down here. That's food. Okay, some other items that I picked up that are not necessarily Christmas, but I don't know what the other one of this is, but I'm gonna use them for Christmas are these black ornaments. I grabbed one more pack. I think I've hauled another package of these, but I grabbed a second one. I'm thinking how I want to do a red and black little mini tree for decoration. So I grabbed um, another package of these because what I think I'm gonna do is glue the red bow onto the black ornament and hang it on a tree. I think that's what I'm gonna do, we'll see. I'll need to get some tree hangers and figure this out. I need to also get a tree because I don't keep my trees. I buy one and take the ornaments off usually. But I thought the red bow on the black ornament. So if you see these and you do a red and black, that's my theme this year. Um, yeah, so I grabbed a pack of these. I need to get a couple more when I see them. I don't quite know how many I have upstairs. You only get six red bows. But it come Christmas time, I might find these in red and go away from the bow idea. I don't know. It, it will, when it happens, it happens. And also I grabbed two of these. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these, but this is, they're mesh tubes. This one has like little bumps on it. It's more of a textured tube and that's just a regular tube. Again, I'm going with the black and red this year. And so I thought, well, this is some black that I can incorporate and grab it while it's available and if not I didn't you know I can use it next year or whatever 
but I grabbed one of each of those. Now the textured one, you get 15 feet and the regular smooth one, you get 36 feet. So that's enough to do something, accent something, I don't know. Um, again, the same concept. They have, they've been bringing out men's stuff. So this is just a men's felt scarf. You know, I could buy felt at the Dollar Tree, or felt, polar fleece at the Dollar Tree, but I'm gonna tell you, this is perfectly cut. It's gonna be the right length for me, and it was a dollar, and I don't have to do anything to it other than put it on my table here as a table runner and on my dining room table. My dining room table is smaller than a typical one, so this will be perfect for just a table runner. Again, with my red and black theme, I thought this would be perfect, and I could accent it with red. Could even take some red, um, embroidery floss and make like plaid with it or make designs like embroidery on it. I probably will not go that detailed with these, but I grabbed two, one for my coffee table and one for my dining room table. And on an aside, they are very warm and cool and super soft. It's really nice fleece to be honest with you. Yeah, you can get it at the dollar or at the fabric store, but then you gotta cut it. And this, I didn't have to cut. So this is part of my de decoration. It's just gonna go out. All right, while I have out the men's stuff, or the winter stuff, um, can we look at these gloves, please? These are men's, red, black, and gray. Hello, Buckeyes. And the women's gloves never fit me. My hands are larger, I guess. These fit perfect. And when I work the football games, I'm wearing these because they match. They're red, black, and gray. And they're thick. These are a nice glove. If you run across them, they're a dollar, guys. And they're just the Dollar Tree fleece. They're calling them fleece gloves, but I don't know that I would call it fleece. Um, but they are definitely men's, which I love. They had them in different patterns, but I, of course, had to have these. So I grabbed those. And then, again, for when I work at the football games, just a scarlet and gray hat with a pom-pom to keep my head warm. I do have a Buckeye hat, but I kind of like this one because it's a little more plain and it's dirty in that stadium. And I don't mind just taking this hat and throwing it. Also, if you want to make a sock monkey, you could do that, but I grabbed this. Oh, it smells funny. Ugh. Let that air out, but just a toboggan. And for a dollar guys, this stuff is great. Definitely, and if your church or organization has like a gloves and hat drive, yeah, everybody buys the children's size, but adults need stuff too. And these are nice gloves. They're very thick. I would definitely pay more than a dollar for those, I can tell you that much. Okay, I'll stop babbling now. I'm saving a couple things for the end because that's how I roll. Um, I found this. I don't even know, it's just a pick. I think for like a floor arrangement, I probably should have gotten two and then I could have had them sticking out of a wreath or something like gnome legs or put them in my Christmas tree, but I only grabbed the one. If I see another one, maybe I will. What I like is this is a wooden dowel, so it's not gonna bend like some of them do. And the dowel goes all the way up to the top. So this is not bending or moving. So if I see another one, I'll probably grab it in the green, um, yeah, super cute, but I think it would be fun if you wanted to make like a whimsical wreath and you could stick these in there and like the the elf is climbing into your wreath. I think that would be cute. Or in a floor arrangement or a tiered tray, anything like that. So if I don't find another one, I will use it on my tiered tray. All right, we got little stuff here. Oh, I also have in the wintry stuff, I don't, I do not hate these slippers. Um, I wish they came in a larger size. These are five to nine. They do fit, they're a little snug. But to be honest, I'm going backpacking in two weeks, two or three weeks. The end of the last weekend in September, first weekend of October, I'm going backpacking and I'm bringing these along because they're lightweight and I can put them on over my thick socks and they will keep my feet warm while I'm sleeping at night. That's one of the hardest things I have when backpacking in the, fall is my feet get really cold. Everything else I seem to be able to keep warm, but my feet. So I have winter socks. I got those gold toe ones and then these, and I think that'll be good. And if it's dry, I can wear these around camp. And again, they're a dollar. I don't care if I ruin them in one shot of one weekend backpacking. 
you know I just want my feet to stay warm and these definitely keep my feet warm I've had them before but I just like the pokey dots I think they had them in buffalo check too so I need to keep that out aside um I grabbed one of these I don't know why I just saw it and thought I should keep it to do something I did see the really cute Grinch arm where he's reaching down with his fingers to, and holding the ornament. If I come across some green gloves um, or some green fur, maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I just grabbed one because I like the size. Um, you could totally make yourself a, uh, ice skate and use this as the, the bottom and take one of the square frames or something at the top. Obviously, they're a reindeer or a candy cane, or if your name begins with a J. Yeah, I thought they were neat for a dollar just to put in my craft stash. Nothing of any real importance. Uh, oh, I did get a second one of these. That's good. I don't know where I put the other ones, but so I do have two of these. So I will have 12 bows. Plus, I think I have some upstairs. Um, not Christmas related. I grabbed up these. I love them. They attach and they're repositionable. You, I use a Sharpie, but these are just tabs for a notebook and I use them in my planner when I want to mark off specific pages for whatever. And then when I'm done with that, I can just take it off and toss it. I like these and you get 12. It's good. Not Christmas related. Not Christmas related guys. Um, here we go. Okay, I this actually I got at Hobby Lobby, and it's just little holly berries, and I thought, I'm sorry, the glare. I thought this would be fun to um, just use for decorations if I do some ornaments or something. Just something different to add. And it was $2.99, but they were 40% off, so less than $2, and you get 12. And you there's three little hollies and three berries. So I just thought that was fun, so I grabbed that at Hobby Lobby for my crafting when I was in there. Um, this year at the Dollar Tree, they've got all different sized ornaments. Now, if you've got little people or again, gifting, these are great. I've seen people put the hot chocolate in the bottom, like a serving of hot chocolate and maybe some like peppermint and mini marshmallows and then pull, you know, it's one serving of hot chocolate. I would definitely clean it out before using it. And I don't know if this is like food safe or whatever, um, but it's fun, fun ornament. There's a lot of things you can do with these plastic ornaments. So I grabbed one of that shape. And then this year, I know this is new. This is Santa. I don't know if you're gonna be able to really see it. And then they add it in a snowman as well. Um, I don't love that the top is not a screw on, like the bulb is a screw on but they're fun. They have all different shapes and sizes of these clear ornaments. They also sell glitter and Mod Podge. You can put some watered down Mod Podge in here, glitter it up, pour it out with the kids, and now they have a glittered ornament. If you want to make it last longer, you can use um, sealer, like a polyurethane sealer, which I need to get some more I'm, I'm out of. But yeah, so we have those two, and they had larger, smaller, um, I got some fake snow. I love crafting with this stuff. It is a complete and utter mess, but I love it. This snow here to me, it has a little sparkle in it and it's definitely smaller. You could fill your ornaments with snow at the bottom. And then these little tiny trees fit inside the ornaments. I mean, there's so much you can do with these Dollar Tree supplies. I grabbed a box pack of these. I have a lot, I believe, but I wasn't sure if I had this size. So I just grabbed it. I purged a lot of my Christmas crafting stuff last year because I just had things that I kept buying and I didn't need. So we'll have to go through that this year and see what we can come up with. But the couple things I think go fast are these little bottle brush trees. And these are the mini ones, which look great in like a vignette of any type. And then I like to have a couple of this, this fake snow on hand for decorating. So we grab that. Okay. Now, for a stocking stuffer, um, it's the little fighting robots. Like, is that not adorable? I mean, it's just a fun, you stick your finger in it. Remember the game where you had to 
Rock'em Sock'em Robots, I think is what it was called. This is just a little bit mini version, like that little Simon game. I'm gonna start collecting these little things and have them for Christmas. I may just put them out for my family to play with or I will put them in my brother's stockings as like just a fun little memory lane type thing. And so I thought this was fantastic. Especially if you've got a couple kids, like the grandkids are over on Christmas Eve or you're doing some baking or things, just having these little stuff around. Put them in one of the car bags if you're doing a car trip. You know, they're fun. I'm assuming you would need two people to do this. I'm not sure how fun it would be to play by yourself, but you know, whatever. And they're calling it Robot, and then this is not new, Finger Fighters, Battle Your Friends. I just think these would be fun. Or in an advent calendar, if you've got little ones, this would be a great advent gift for leading up to Christmas. Okay, we're getting down there. Um, I grabbed these. Now, I have a ton of these lights, but I like the plain LED, and I liked that the cord was white or clear. Um, this will be handy with crafting, and I like that it's, like I said, it's clear, so you can hide it a little better. The black, the green, those are kind of hard to hide. Um, definitely could do it in a Christmas tree. It's clear white light, and I think you get 10 lights. Yeah, you get 10, and they're just plain. And these are like perfect for, um, you know, your DIYs and stuff. All right, I'm gonna make some room here because it's time to show you the wonderfulness that I found. Mm. but I need to make room because I have some stuff it's not a whole lot of stuff but it's some stuff okay look up, buddy. so I went into a couple dollar trees and was shook guys so what happened was that one of my co-workers uh, texted me and said, Hey, I'm at this Dollar Tree and they have this. And I was like, Oh, I'm on my way. And it was eight o'clock at night and I left. Not this item, but they have some more of these ceramic. These are fun. I love painting them. And this is the tree with the truck. They had a Santa and a snowman. So I got one of those just to paint. That wasn't the fantasticness, but it is fun. Okay. I found the little gnomes. They're ornaments, but guys, I think these are gonna become some type of festive garland. I wish, wish, wish this was black. And could I make these myself? Absolutely. It's literally just stitched together, but they're decent quality. You could put a name up here. You could put a number, a letter. Let's say you were doing an advent. You could do 25 of these and number them, and then the child would pull that down, and maybe you've attached what their little prize is for that day. I mean, there's just a million things you can do with these. So I got a few and I think my niece found one for me, but I wanna make a garland with these and maybe hang them like in my bathroom. I don't know, we'll see. But I grabbed some of these gnomes and they're soft, guys. They're made with really nice and they're, they're, there's some stuffing in here, but it feels like it's a foam piece, so it's very even. Quality's there for a buck, guys. Quality is there. Now, I haven't seen any of the other ornaments that I saw some other people hauling. Just a couple more items. I found the gnomes skiing. O-M-G. I mean, I could even add this on one end with my little tiny gnomes and then put one of these on the other end. Like, what? Or even tear tray. These could go in a tear tray and be a standalone Everything is felt, so this is this little brown stiff felt. These are wood, but then there's, I mean, the details, guys, like what is happening, Dollar Tree? We, who are you anymore? Now, there is a lot of like fluff and glue residue on some of these, but it's easy to pick off. So I grabbed the scarlet and gray one, and then I found two of this one. And they are so nice, so nice, and no glitter. So I only, I have three of these gnomes to figure out something to do with. I saw them once at one, st two stores. Cause I got 
these red ones at one store and then I found one gray at another. And now the gnome stuff at my stores are gone. I haven't seen anything. Okay, two more things to show ya. In the, let me take this off. The little paint your own gnomes. What the heck? You can do any color scheme you want. And they're nice and basic enough that you really, if you take your time, can paint these up and then I'm gonna seal them. I'm probably gonna do black and red because that's my theme. I grabbed four of them. My, the one store I saw these at, one store, had, there was a ton on the shelf. They also had some like chickens that looked very boho chic and they had dogs that would like that, but I didn't need those in my life, but I absolutely needed these little gnomes. These do not have to be Christmas either. They're not painted. You can do any season you want. If you can find them and paint one for each holiday, oh, guys, I'm obsessed. And they're adorable. And there's no like metal pokey thing to deal with. There is the hole in the bottom. So um, I don't know what that means, but I just thought I would share that there's a hole in the bottom. I don't know. But yeah, I can't wait. So I have four of those. Here's another one. They're the same. They are all identical. If I see more at other stores, I may end up having to buy a couple more, but I didn't want to buy all the ones that they had. So, I mean, there was probably 15 at that store and I picked up four of them. So, and then the last thing I found, what the heck? Can we please? No glitter. There's no, I lied. The snowflakes are glitter. That's it. A couple little glitter snowflakes, but there's no fallout. Can we please believe? What the heck? And I believe that these are going to go on my front porch over my front door in the garland. So I'll put some garland out and then I'll hang this over the front door. It cannot, but it gets better. But wait, there's more. So I got that one. They had some square signs too, but I don't need square signs. I'm using this for winter. This is not Christmas. This, I mean, it could be Christmas, but it can be anything you want. There is glitter. The welcome is glitter. But when I take away Christmas, I'm going to use this for winter time with all the little plaid flannelly looking stuff. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed, guys. So I grabbed these two signs. I didn't get the square one. One said there's no place like home and there was another square one. I just don't need all the signs, but I needed these. So that is everything I found so far Christmas related at my stores. Obviously we're gonna come out with a whole bunch more stuff, but as I see it, I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna stash it away and then I will do hauls related to Christmas separately, I think for a little while. So my next haul will be regular, you know, seasonal stuff, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and regular Dollar Tree decor. Um, but yeah, that is everything. I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps my channel grow and it helps me uh, be able to afford to buy more stuff to share with you. I will have some sponsored content coming up and I hope that you can also enjoy those videos. I know that not everybody is interested in it and I totally get that. But again, it helps my channel. So I appreciate those of you that are able to at least watch those videos and interact with them so that they can help me grow as well. All right, guys, have a good one and I will talk with you later.